Every day, you need to spend time blessing yourself. It's good when others encourage you. It's good when they pray for you. But their words don't have the authority as your words. What you say about yourself, you're giving it the right to come to pass. What if you took a couple of minutes every morning before you leave the house and say what God says about you? Make this declaration of faith. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am redeemed, forgiven, talented, creative, disciplined, focused, confident, secure, prepared, qualified, motivated, valuable, free, determined, equipped, empowered, anointed, accepted, and approved. Not average, not mediocre. I am a child of the Most High God. I've lost every single thing I had, family included. I've been written off so many times. But today, the person that you're sitting in front of you is a process. I want to talk to you for a moment about the process. Because see, one way to get a person to really follow you is to be the example of what, you get, of what you're trying to get them to follow. Nobody likes stress because some people just let themselves go. But you got to, in order to develop and to change and to grow, stress is necessary. So you got to be willing to go get it every day. There's a story my father told me all the time. Now I've heard it several different ways. He said, son, he said, every morning on the plains of the Eastern Serengeti Desert, there arises a gazelle that realizes that he was run faster than the fastest lion or he will be eaten and he will die that day. On that same desert arises in the morning a lion that realizes that he must run faster than the fastest gazelle or he will starve and he will die that day. He say, son, the moral of the story is no matter who you is, when you wake up in the morning, you need to be running. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things. They ain't, they ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass was sleep. I either play music or I tell jokes. I either play music or I tell jokes. I entertain people for a living. They give me money. That's a blessing, man. See, see when I wake up, I don't have to go to work. I get to go to work. See, that's the difference, man. Some people have to go to work. I get to go to work. I get to. I don't have to. You know, I mean, I was doing this for years for no money. But through grace and mercy, you know, he just kept blessing me. And then, you know, I got other things I want to accomplish, you know. I'm not through. You know, I've been at this a long time, man. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about the end, you know. But all I want to do now is make enough money to change, uh, kids lie. The guilt is the most useless emotion in the world. 
Guilt serves the purpose of no one except the person who's trying to apply it for manipulative purposes. Every time I've ever been guilty is because somebody, oh, you just done forgot us. Oh, so now you think you all that. No, I don't think. No, see what happened is you think that I'm all this and you think I now think I'm this when I'm really the same dude. One thing I learned about money, money doesn't change people. Which hard you want. It's hard. If you have any aspirations to be successful, it's hard. But you know what inspired me to become successful? Because when I wasn't successful, I discovered something. It's really hard to be successful. But you know what I also discovered? It's really hard not being successful. That's it's really hard, man. It's hard not having a career, not having a job, not knowing what you're going to eat next, not knowing how you're going to pay your rent, not knowing what your next move is. That's hard. So since it's hard, you as a person just have to make the decision which one of the hards you want. Because it's all hard. But I would rather have something that's hard that has an upside and a benefit than to settle for a life that's hard and ain't no upside and ain't no benefit. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of them. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. This has to change. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? All you got to do is start changing the way you think. It's as simple as, it's not a magic trick. You can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative. Because I get mentally drained from my job at times. But to coat your mind from negativity, the way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. I'm going to show you how this works. If you wake up in the morning and you start having negative thoughts, man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of bed. I'm tripping. I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop. Just stop for a second and start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have, because what you have is substantial. You just haven't gone over the list and taken inventory in a long time. But the fact that you can walk, that's a blessing. The fact that you woke up, that's another blessing. The fact that you can see, think, reason, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go somewhere and get yourself something to eat, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go and turn the key and call some place home, that's another blessing. The ability to dream is a blessing. The, the, the fact that you have an opportunity to get it right is another blessing. The fact that you're beautiful, that's another blessing. The fact that you have any measure of health, that's another blessing. And I'm just talking to you, I don't even know you. I could give you 50 things you ought to be grateful for right now. I don't even know you. And that was my turn back moment. See, in your life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. The thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what.
quit looking at Instagram. Instagram is people's highlight reel. That ain't really how the they look. They got one Birkin bag. That ain't a real one. And they got it on Instagram and they showing you the clasp open and all that. that and they got a filter on it and they look perfect. They don't have a bump. That, that ain't life, man. Instagram's a highlight reel. That's the best picture they posted that day. You know how many shots they took to get that picture? Don't get caught up in none of that. Get your grind on, hustle. Get your, put your head down, quit looking up. Get your head down and hustle, hustle. Face your fears head on. They're not as big as you think. Once you face the big fear, it only becomes smaller. Don't let fear stop you. Go get it. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. You get to pick your damn sacrifice. That's all. You don't get to not make one. You're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. The ability to discipline yourself to delay gratification in the short term in order to enjoy greater rewards in the long term is the indispensable prerequisite for success. Self-discipline is not an easy path, but it is a necessary one. It requires making sacrifices, staying focused, and persisting even when faced with challenges. Self-discipline is the magic power that makes you virtually unstoppable. Discipline is doing what needs to be done, even if you don't want to do it. Without discipline in your life, you can be pushed to the brink that might leave you exhausted, helpless, and stressed. This is completely avoidable by taking a few small steps on a regular basis towards an organized lifestyle. Self-discipline is often disguised as short-term pain, which often leads to long-term gains. The mistake many of us make is the need and want for short-term gains, which often leads to long-term pain. A self-disciplined person makes optimum use of the time. Hence, he can achieve more and do more work as compared to a person who is not self-disciplined. With self-discipline, most anything is possible. It is this inherent strength that propels us forward, enabling us to conquer challenges and achieve the extraordinary. That's the key word, discipline, self-discipline. We might add one more word here, consistent. Consistent self-discipline. It doesn't really matter how smart you are or how much you know if you don't use it. Put the best plan you have into practice. It's not gonna be perfect and it will change along the way, but it will change partly because you become disciplined pursuing the path. And as you become disciplined, you become wiser. And as you become wiser, you become able to formulate better and better plans. I'm gonna say it again because you might've missed it. All men are created equal. Some work harder in preseason. So that means that there are some people who are going to see the professor, going to see the TA. And even when the professor says, I don't meet with you, my TA meet with you, you say, I want to talk to your TA. That's what it is. Pain is an unavoidable part of our human journey, but its duration is often fleeting. However, when we succumb to the allure of excuses, we inadvertently burden ourselves with that pain. We carry it into the following day and the cycle continues extending into the weeks, months, and even years. Some of us, tragically, carry it until our last breath. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. Our scars tell stories of courage, perseverance, and the indomitable human spirit. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, how you can still come out of it. It is through the fire of suffering that we discover our inner light, illuminating the path to our true purpose and potential. So, embrace your pain, for it is through the darkest moments that we find the strength to rise, the wisdom to endure, and the power to become the best version of ourselves. As we journey towards our goals, we must embrace the challenges and obstacles that come our way, for it is through these trials that we grow, learn, 
and ultimately succeed. These are the best of times and these are the worst of times. We're here to instruct, we're here to grow, we're here to learn, we're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious. Life is serious. The future is serious. Best of times and the worst of times. That's called serious matter. And you too. And there's going to be a fair bit of pain along the way and lots of it's going to be unfair. It's like, yeah, no wonder you're resentful. It's like act it out and see what happens. You make everything you're complaining about infinitely worse. It's going to be a dog fight. For those of you watching my videos, on the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. In the midst of my business, I lost aunts. I had to go to funerals. We had to get on a plane. We had to drive. We had aunts that are close to my age who died, who didn't have insurance. We had to raise money, a dog fight. Goals and dreams are the guiding stars that illuminate our path to a fulfilling life. They inspire us, drive us forward, and fuel our relentless pursuit of excellence. Our dreams push us to aim high, to stretch beyond our comfort zones, and to never settle for mediocrity. They remind us that anything is possible if we have the audacity to believe and the courage to take action. Our dreams possess the power to shape our future, to transform our lives, and to leave an indelible mark on the world. So let us dare to dream big, to set audacious goals, and to live with unwavering faith in our ability to achieve greatness. Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. There is no other route to success. Life undoubtedly presents challenges in pursuing our dreams, but in this situation, one gives up or continues to work towards them despite obstacles. It's not easy, but it's certainly not impossible. When you dream, you have to put it into action, sweat and blood. Opportunities do not always knock at our doorsteps daily. We tend to miss many opportunities in life just because we don't have the courage to do things. Every time you leave things for tomorrow and say you will start over from tomorrow, that day will never come, which is why you need to start now. I think the best thing you can do with regards to your conscientiousness is to set up some aims for yourself, goals that you actually value. And the Future Authoring Program helps people do that. And basically, it does a, a situational analysis of it helps you do a situational analysis of your life. I'm still gonna get you where they are. Why? Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. And you need to get rid of them excuses and you need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? In the tapestry of life, success is not merely a destination, but a profound journey. It is a journey that requires unwavering self-discipline, a clear vision through goal setting, and the resilience to persevere through challenging times. The path to success is not always easy, but it is through the relentless pursuit of these three pillars that we unlock our true potential, achieve remarkable feats, and leave a lasting legacy. Through self-discipline, we stay committed to our path, making conscious choices that align with our long-term goals. Let us embrace self-discipline, set audacious goals, and view hardships as opportunities for growth, because what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Within us lies the power to overcome, to achieve, and to create a life of profound success. If you find the video uplifting, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.